Hi Jurassic Cuties, Wendy here. Today we're going to draw the TikTok logo, so let's get started. To create the TikTok logo, you're going to need three colors. Black, kind of a peacock blue, and a deep pinkish red. So let's start with our black first because it's the base color. And I'm going to start at the top right here with a um, straight, small straight line. So right here is at the top. So when I look at this logo, it's obviously a, um, a music note, the D symbol. But when I'm drawing it, it kind of looks like a J to me. So that's what I'm keeping in mind, just drawing a J with this little curve. So I'm going to start with this straight line at the top. And from there, I'm going to come straight down right here. And so on this end right here, I'm going to draw that little tail that comes out. So it's going to start to come down. So right here. And if you want to be a, um, make it simple, just go ahead and just curve down. But if you want to be a stickler about the logo and making it exactly, as you come down right here, it's going to curve out, but then it's going to curve in a tiny bit more. So there's actually a little hump right there, but you can always just go ahead and curve it one smooth curve if you like as well. It's much easier. Okay, so say about that much, I'm going to start that curve. I'm going to come right here and bring this line down. So this line right here is going to be about as thick as this top line. So I'm just going to try my best to about that much. So it's going to be a little bit thicker. And now from here, I'm going to bring it right back into this area. So as I bring it back, it's going to kind of be almost in this Imagine this straight line down from that point. So let's come up. So I'm just going to say about right here. It's easier for my hand. I'm going to go from that way. So I've created a little tail. And from this point, I'm going to start to go straight down. So don't worry if it's not perfect. We're drawing this freehand, so it's not going to be exactly the same. We're just trying to get it as close as possible to the um, logo, original logo. Okay, so now that I've created that, notice this is thicker and this is thinner right here, and that's our goal. So let's bring this down more as we create this kind of J shape. Okay, so as I come to there, I'm going to start to curve in. So I'm going to go from this side first on the inside. I'm just going to start to curve. And let's go up right here. I'm creating this little loop right here. And then go up. And so then let's come down here and we're going to continue this. So as we come to this area right here, it's going to be thinner. So that's one thing you're going to have to do as well. So if you want to be exactly, trying to be exactly the same as the logo. So we come to this area, let's make it a little bit thinner. So notice it's thinner than this. And then we're going to start to curve. So turn your paper if you need to, to make it a little bit easier for your hand, so about right. This area is going to be thicker, so about right here. Okay, so notice this is getting thicker. And from this point where I stopped, if, um, once again, if you want to be a stickler about the logo, <laughs> there's a little point right here, and then it curves up. But once again, if you don't care about that, you can just go ahead and smooth it out. Make it a lot easier. Okay, so now I'm going to go and curve this up. Kind of like drawing a J. And let's come up. And about right here, I'm going to bring it in. And let's go back up now. So about right here, leaving about this much space. And this line right here is going to be about this thick. So, so about right here. So that's the shape. And then now from there, let's go ahead and round it and bring it back to this. So this is the easier part right here. We're just going to bring it all the way nice and round together. 
there. So once again, um, this thickness is much thicker than this. Just make sure. And then as you come to this right area, just much thinner. And then it thickens up right here. Okay, so now that we have that in, let's bring this nice and straight. I'm just going to go in here and shade this in all black. Okay, so there, now it's all shaded in black and let's see here, I'll start with my red first and I'm going to go in there and draw the red part now. So to start the red part of the logo, let's come right here where their straight line is and we're going to continue this line. So just continue it straight out and we're going to start to curve it and bring it in here. So curve it kind of to that point that you had. That little point right there. And then it's going to flush down here and be flush with this line. And it's going to come out just a little bit and it's going to come down. So I'm just going to give it myself an outline first. So it's going to come down and it's going to come back right into this area. And then now we can go ahead and bring this line down straight down. And as we come down, we're just going to kind of follow that and bring it back into this area. So go straight down. And just want to make sure in the right area. So about right here. I'm just going to give myself a mark so I know where I'm going. and taper it into the black. Okay, so then now come back up to here where this point is and we're going to extend it out. About that much and then come down. And right here. We're going to come about right there and we're going to come back to this point right here that you created. There. Okay, so then now let's go ahead and just shade this all in red. And right here. There. 
Okay, so then now for the blue part. For the blue part, the logo, I'm going to extend this black part up. So I'm going to start right here, extend it up, and I'm going to come right across. So everything is about the same. This width and this width will be about the same. It's just an extension of this curve, and it's going to go straight across. So about right here. And it's going to start to come down. So about this thickness right here. And let's bring it down to this point right here. So we're just going to go straight down. And bring it down to that point that we made. In that area. I'm going to go in there and fix this curve. nice thing about this being solid you can go ahead and fix this curve <laughs> okay so then I'm just gonna come out right here so because this inside right here is supposed to also look like a music note so I'll fix it with the red after I'm done with this blue part and let's come up right here we're gonna extend this black part out right here and once again I'm gonna flush it into this area so come up And we're going to bring it right there. It's so nerve wracking, right? Trying to make it exactly the same. <laughs> okay, so then let's come in here and shade this in. One wrong move and you have to start over. So hopefully I've made it a bit easy for you to follow along and draw a TikTok logo. Okay, so then let's come in here and shade this part in. And it's always harder because I am drawing pretty big. So if you're doing it at home and you're drawing smaller, it'd be a lot easier. And it won't matter if you um, don't have in all the little details. Okay, so now I have a little part right here where that little point was, remember? And I'm going to come out about right here, stop right here, and extend this line up. And then go ahead and shade this in. Okay, so here's the part I wanted to, um, that is pretty much it. Pretty cool, right? That illusion that it gives. So this area right here, I'm going to smooth it out because it's supposed to look like a music note. So this curve right here can be a little bit better. So that it looks more like a music note in here. There, a little bit better. <laughs> this could have gone in a little bit more, but I think we did pretty good, right, for doing this freehand. And that is pretty much it for this TikTok logo. I hope I made it easy for you to follow along so that you can give it a try too. It comes out pretty cool once you, um, it's pretty good illusion, right? <laughs> With the three layers of um, color. Um, that, well, that's what it's supposed to look like, having three colors layered together. So hopefully you guys love how this logo turned out and it inspires you to draw it too. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.